seems like yesterday we were just doing the uh, first film. I've never done anything like that before. When we all came into it, it was quite daunting at first. It was a very intense experience. When I first got into this, I was so nervous. When I entered the production of the first movie, there's, I had no idea it was going to go into the fourth one. Four years later, it's just, like, we've all grown up with each other and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's uh, hit, um, hitting puberty. Oh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> Emma Watson, on the phone, on set. On the bed. On the bed, with her shoes on. I think everyone, like, sees each other changing and it's kind of like a family growing up. Hey, Dad, where are we going? Having the foggiest. Keep up. Between the third and the fourth, there was a much more substantial time off. And so when I was coming back here this year, I did, I, I was just really, really excited. And because it was just great to be back here with everyone who I've got to know so well after the last few films. When you come back after there's been a break between filming, it's just like seeing all your friends again after you've gone home from boarding school. Um, that's a lot better than the school. It was a, actually felt really nice to have the glasses back on. I think I'm now going to have to insist that all the roles I play are, are visually impaired in some way, so they all need glasses, um, just to make me feel at home. Okay, no, <laughs> no, we can, we can get that. It's really nice, actually. You really do find that after being away, you miss people, and it's really nice to come back and see them again. It gives you a feeling that you're not coming to work, you're just uh, coming to see your old friends, really. Everyone is really fun, and I think Everyone gets on well. I don't even get on with like Tottenham at the mouth of the uh, Slytherins and that. We're all friends down here, and there's no, uh, there's certainly no grouping off. I don't, I don't feel anyway between different members of the cast. It doesn't matter if you have the biggest part or just you're in like I don't know a few scenes. It's quite everyone's together with everyone. <laughs> this one, there are lots of new characters introduced. There's Victor Crumb. There's Cho Chang. Cedric Diggory. Fleur de Lacour. There's some fantastic new. Um, actors and actresses who are also sort of around our age as well, so that's great. It's quite nice to have that sort of a new sort of face on set, so um, so it's quite sort of exciting. <laughs> when they first come, a lot of them had not done things before, and so they're a little sort of awestruck at the whole big massive sets and like, people like Alan Rickman and Maggie Smith. I didn't really know what to expect because I haven't really been in other sets before. So it's quite a shock for me. Very good, darling. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. It's always exciting to get on that kind of set because I mean it's just literally a small village. You go into Leaves and it's like it's enormous. It's got this whole Harry Potter world, and I'd never experienced anything like it. When you get thrown into an environment like all the crew are and cast are here, who's known each other for ages, it's like being a new student at school. Right at the beginning, I just literally sat by myself and never talked to anyone and just drank like 25 cups of coffee every day. The actual first, very first thing we shot, I felt as if my heart was going to jump out of my body. I think we're able to understand what, what it's like. It's quite daunting task, just stepping onto the set one day and just saying, hello, this is your dressing room, this is what you've got to do for the next year. When they come in, you try to make it really friendly towards them, and, and a lot of them are really cool as well, so they just sort of get right in there and we're all good friends, really. He's a nice chap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at first I thought that, you know, you know, they would be a bit, you know, behaving a bit strange to us because we were new, but that didn't happen. You know, we were really warmly welcomed. Coming in, I mean, because those people have been working together for nearly four years. Yeah. They include you in the lovely people. As soon as we all met each other, we'd, like, we'd click like that. Everyone's pretty close. I hang around with the people from this a lot outside of when I'm not working as well. I would say the girls hang out as a group because we like to gossip about boys and stuff, so it's better when they're not there. My first date was Stan's first date, and so uh, 
I kind of bonded with him. <laughs> My friend! <laughs> Every morning I'm looking forward to coming in and hanging about with everyone because everyone's just so nice. <laughs> then we have the slightly more adult cast members who are um, Madeline Moody, who's played by Brendan Gleeson. Oh, no, you don't, silly! I've always seen him in like, so many different Irish films. I've always said, yeah, I'd love to be working with him. So, like, like, it's pretty much like a dream come true. Constant vigilance! Constant vigilance! Brendan Gleeson makes me laugh so much. I, I don't know how I got through those scenes with him. He was so funny. <laughs> Young love! <gasps> And then we have Miranda Richardson, who plays Rita Skeetel. You didn't start, you silly girl. She's absolutely horrible. She's such a piece of work. No one else can play her apart from Miranda. Ah, <laughs> She's brilliant. So, who's feeling up to Sherry? On this one, really more than the others, there have been um, a lot of new people. So Mike was incredibly keen to make sure that we didn't get on set and just everyone not really know each other that well. I remember the first thing we got told is before the shoot, we were going to do a sort of drama workshops for all us kids. We actually had, you know, sort of workshop sessions where we were all sort of getting up and, and improvising scenes together. We had to act out something where we were scared or something and we just had to, we had to come up with something and it was quite, it was quite fun. We all got to know Mike, got to know the new characters, got to know each other again. It was a great way to, you know, get a first um, contact with everyone. I don't know about everybody else who are the new people, but I was just so desperate to look cool in front of all of them, especially as I was older than them as well. I was really desperate. And I probably ended up looking very uncool. I think Mike was encouraging the competition in us, he said. Hey, come on and sit right there, right there. OK. Mike's such a really great character, and he's got such presence. Behave like you would at school, OK? I think one of the things that Mike has brought to it is a real sense of British boarding school. <laughs> <laughs> He's very, very English. He wears a, a waistcoat every day, which I just quite like because you don't see enough waistcoats anymore, really. You always get quite nervous when you sort of find out there's going to be a new director because you sort of get quite close to them. It's quite nerve-wracking to see what sort of person it's going to be. And but Mike, he was, he was great, yeah, really. A really good laugh, yeah. Rupert, I'm terribly sorry, old chap. Just take a beat before the wave. With the scene that we were doing in the Great Hall with, uh, it's James and Oliver. Action! <laughs> Cut! Cut it! Cut! We weren't doing it as well as we, as, as Mike. what Mike wanted. Okay, who wants to fight? Whichever of you want to fight, which one? So Mike literally jumps on Oliver, and everyone was just like in awe, looking at this director hustling in the next. <laughs> so yeah, that was really cool. I think he um, <laughs> he was hobbling around for about four days afterwards because he 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 sprained some muscle. He really he gets involved. He does all he can to help us. Instead of sitting there in his chair watching the monitor, he's he's out there and he's doing it and he's giving back energy to the actors and. Uh, I think he's great. Of course, what we will do is to do it again, because we always do. But that was a genuinely good one, okay? Well done. When you're working, you're very... You have a lot of adrenaline and stuff, but um, there's a lot of waiting around. Once again, we find ourselves in the Great Hall and slightly bored. It's quite easy to get bored as waiting around, but we uh, definitely, over the full films, you kind of think ahead. Yeah! Oh, a bench! I mean, I bring my guitar down. So as long as there's no one else about, I'll get that out. <laughs> it's OK. Like we'll bring like a games console and just play games. Emma actually developed a slight obsession with a uh, game. I just had to say, I got her past the zombies and a number of other zombies. There. I tried to make out that I was really good at the game and that I could go, this is easy, what are you, what's all the fuss about? But of course, I was really not very good at all because I'm not very good at computer games. Hey, let, let me try. Come on, let me try. I'll be Fine, you try. I'll do it. This is when mine and Emma's relationship breaks down. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a huge amount of things to do. When most of the other people, most of the other actors who you're working with, like the young actors, are always in school. You got boys and girls. Lovely school. I've only got half an hour left. School it was a lot more sort of hectic. We were all sort of preparing for our GCSEs, which are really big 
exams. Mm -hmm. the tutoring now. <laughs> Enjoy. In a way, it was hard because we didn't get to spend as much time together as we would have liked, but in the other way, we all completely understood why that was because it was like we were all in the same boat. Basically, we, we knew how hard we were all sort of having to work, and, and it all paid off because, you know, everyone has done, you know, really well. Is it shame she's wrong? So, we have my lovely wall. We have, this is my very messy dressing room. We are in Leeson for about 11 months at a time, 10, 11 months, and so it is really nice to sort of, to, to once in a while, get out and, and, you know, just film in another place. I love being outside and going on location is fantastic. Yeah. On this film, we, we went up to Oxford again and it was great. Yeah, Oxford's lovely. It is a nice, nice place. They, this, this great, huge university college we, we film at is, is a real nice location. When we go out, we get 15 of us all staying in the same hotel and we go out and eat after filming and have a good time. It's just like going away with your friends and stuff and doing the filming and stuff and then nightlife together. It was good. It's a good change. <laughs> There's a ferret scene where uh, Malfoy gets turned into a ferret. <laughs> it was a live ferret, and like, they gave me like trousers with double insides in, the one for the ferret to go down, and obviously to protect it from scratching my leg. Yeah, but keep your feet solid. All right. You do. <laughs> it was a good ferret. It was trained. <laughs> get out, get out of here. I actually did have to reach down his trousers. Not very pleasant, but <laughs> it had to be done. <laughs> Luckily, the ferret wasn't uh, really me. Luckily, they brought in a stunt double ferret. And remember, you're really enjoying the eating. Get eating. Action! When we were doing the, uh, the dessert scene, there's these incredible towers of ice cream and these chocolate trifles. And I have to admit, my mouth was watering throughout the whole scene and just be told it was fake, made of plastic. It's incredible, and they do such a good job. There are so many different aspects of how this film comes together, and there's so many different departments. One of the one of the departments that I don't think gets enough credit is the art department, and I think that that would be good fun for a day to see well, what that's like. Or the ADs, they work extremely hard. It's introduced to your new first assistant for the evening, that's Bonnie Wright. No. No. It would be quite fun to be a runner, you know, running around, and you'd have to, like, help, like, each department. Yeah, I'd love to work in props, I suppose. I'd love to be able to make a fake turkey and plonk it on the table and watch everyone not be able to eat it. I'd like to be in the, um, maybe the script writing side. But I'd like to be a uh, cameraman, that's quite a cool job. One thing I've always wanted to do was produce a film. Art department, if I could draw, but I can't, so no. Um, so probably, I really enjoy creature effects. Uh, I guess I'd really like to try my hand at directing. What he said basically was, SHUT UP! I just like to learn as much as I can, really. Even though, you know, it may not always be the most appropriate time, you know, people would be really busy, and I'd be like, how does that work? And, you know, so it may or not always be convenient. I may not have the best sense of timing. But, um, I do, I just, I do like to find out stuff about, particularly about how the camera works. Oh, what's that? What, what's, what's it doing? I'm slightly more kind of confident now, and I'm not so afraid to ask questions. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm... I'm learning things and getting better. Sorry. Sorry, I just started laughing that time. Every day it's like an adventure. So I just enjoy it more and more. It's a once in a lifetime thing and we didn't make the most of it. I can't wait for you know the the fifth one.